Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Hey. <laughs> For context, the second trailer to the Super Mario Brothers movie got released today. I, uh, did a reaction viewing thingy, so that's up on YouTube if you want to check that out. But, as a TLDR, still not convinced on Chris Pratt, uh, Mario appears to be a clumsy oath. <laughs> That's basically it. Like Charlie does Luigi, so. Can talk about it more later, but for now, um, it's time to suffer, because I'm pretty sure the stages that I'm up to, either way, it's just gonna suck. So, yay. I'll keep an open mind. I'm sure I'll get through them. I'm sure I'll get through them. Um, yeah. Another trailer that released today was a trailer for that 90s show, which... I liked that 70s show. It was... It's a good show, I think. Not everyone liked it, but... I found it funny when it aired. Um... The 90s show, I mean, eh, low expectations, but Red Foreman's in it, so... It'll be good to see him call another generation of kids dumbasses. Also, hey Nick there, how's it going? Wait, that doesn't work? No, okay, I've ruined it. I need to do that. There we go. Let this do its thing. I'm gonna need all these lives. How am I? I'm alright. It's been pretty busy. Um, it's that time of year where I, just, I have a bunch of stuff to do before work wraps up for the year, so i uh, just uh, had a lot to do. Yeah. Not a whole lot other than that. I did get an OLED switch, so I've just been <laughs> playing Diablo in bed and just watching TV. Because uh, honestly, at the end of the day, if I'm not feeling it, I, I won't stream. So it's like I get to the end of the day, I'm like, eh, I'm just going to watch TV and chill. Um, I want to try and get this done, but I don't know, like, the levels. I unlocked this, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, relax is the, uh, <laughs> it's in quotations. No, these, these levels today are not going to be as enjoyable as the others. It's basically pick your poison. Um... Okay, I mean, since we're here, I guess do this one. Did not take forever. Um, have you seen the trailer for the Mario movie, the second one, Nectar? Okay, how do I do? How do I do this? You haven't? Well, uh, I think it's worth checking out. I, I think it straight up sets the tone for what it's going to be. Wow. It's not a very long one, but at least you get to see Princess Peach and Luigi. What do you search? Just Mario movie trailer 2. It'll, it'll pop up. It's, it's like uh, one of the highest trending videos on YouTube, so right now. 
It might even just appear on its own on your feed. It did on mine. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I shared my thoughts about it in a video, so... I won't rehash them too much, but... Oh, this is... This is something. At least I'm not struggling on the trampoline part. Like, I tried my best. I've said this before, but the, this is the kind of stage where if something like this were to appear in Mario Maker, in my queue, I would it, I would skip it straight away. Anything where it's like the first five seconds of the stage, it's just an absolute annoyance to the player. It's like, nah, dude, not my thing. Because it just sets the tone for the rest of the stage. It's like, okay, so this is all this stage is going to be. It's just a bunch of this over and over again. Let's see? So, not, not my idea of fun. But I've got no choice here. Honestly, if there were other stages for me to do, I would have played maybe earlier in the week. But it is what it is. I got the feeling the thing you gotta do is just jump and not hang on to the thing. It's like a one one move type thing, you know? At least this trampoline isn't getting me like last time. Also, I've heard that, uh... Something I missed is that Wario was in the trailer, which I haven't had a second look for it, but damn it. Okay, see, I think I think I get what I'm supposed to do. It looks like hang to the side and then jump in. Maybe. I'll try again. I just didn't time it correctly. I don't know, that movie I'm still on the fence about. I think visually it looks nice, I just think from a plot point of view it's, it's gonna be a bit strange. And might lean a bit too heavy on the minion humor for my liking. But I'll still give it a try. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so I figured that out. weird. Okay, um...
What? I need to get the shell. Oh wait, no, do, do I? No. Hang on. I don't think this is right. Okay, there we go. She has been freed. I hate this. Ah, uh, of course. And now I have to go, I'm going to guess I have to go through this whole process again, because, yay. <laughs> Isn't that a fun stage? I can't believe it's already December. <laughs> Tomorrow is December for me. Like, fucking hell this year. You know what? I, I, it's understandable given the years that preceded it. Um, they dragged on and at the same time they flew, it's weird. So this is the first, I guess, normal-ish year in a while. Oh, that's, that's so rude. But I guess I got to kick off the more ch chill December. I mean, maybe I'll have to subject myself to this one more time. But... Maybe once or twice, but... At the very least, I'm gonna, as usual, as per tradition, with December... Generally speaking... I'll play some game from childhood, of course. And then, it'll be something... Like, I always do Stardew in December, I don't know why. It, that'll probably happen again. Um, but this time with mods. So. A more laid back December. And I still gotta do something with Terraria. It's just. The problem with Terraria is. When I tried to do the Calamity mod thing, I just had too many technical issues and it just annoyed me, so. I haven't really felt like going back to Calamity. To be honest, I might just start a whole new world. <laughs> just be like, listen, just ignore that first dream. Because I just wasn't having fun. But there's a... 
there's an expansion mod on Stardew which adds a bunch of new content, so I think that's worth checking out at the very least. I just need to decide how I'm going to divide it up because I do want to do some of that stuff on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is one of these levels that's funny to the viewer. Not funny to me. Because I'm the one that has to play it. It's definitely streamer bait. Oh, now I have to go back. Yeah. You know what, just eat the death, that's fine. I got the coin. I'm- I'm going to go save the game, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not doing that a second time. But I'm not doing that a second time, that's it. It's- It's done. It's saved. I think I just needed to, like, yeah. I'm thinking about making Sunday Terraria time. And just being like, alright, Terraria. And then just not do anything else that day. Sunday seems to be the day where I don't do as much, but yeah, we'll see. Then people have a work, people working have a chance of catching it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not too concerned about that, <laughs> to be honest. That's honest, that's, I don't know why, it's just never been a concern of mine. I'm just still debating to what extent I'm going to do it. I mean, that, that, it's definitely an added perk. An idea that I kind of had was... Because the playthrough on it's kind of... <sighs> I mean, I guess the perspective is fresh because it's a new patch, but I don't know. I don't feel like I would contribute as much to the playthrough thing as... The first impression thing is, is kind of gone, right? But that being said, I mean, I could still make it sort of interesting. But in terms of building, like, I was thinking of doing some kind of map where the end result is I share it and it's a way to play through the game. So more or less I'm like building on the map around it and then I'm not completing the map so to speak with the intent of people completing the map themselves so then when they explore they kind of discover my stuff along the way. I have a few ideas floating around for it, but that's all well and good, but if no one's really into watching me build and stuff, then there's not a whole lot of point. As impressive as that big tree thing was, I do remember at times, um, the streams were like empty. <laughs> And I was just kind of kicking back and doing my thing.
But then when you share it, you know, of course it's impressive, but it's it's one of those things that people are more interested in the destination as opposed to the journey. This is not as bad as it was, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. I still don't like it, but at the very least, I'm getting up to here reliably. Dude. Okay, now what? Now there's a trampoline here? can't do that. I think I've ruined it already. I need to reset it. Oh, I can't go back. Okay, cool. Fuck me then. Well done. Just put the second trampoline where the first one is. Yeah. Does it, at, does it at least? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Of course it doesn't. There have been these kind of stages in the game, and they've been fine because... Whatever you do... Like, that right there would have been something where the stage would have been coded, and... They would have put the trampoline in the block here, because they're like, Alright, you did that part. Don't worry about it. You don't have to do it again. I think this whole thing is just this massive set of tricks I need to do in one go, more or less. Which, eh. It's not my kind of stage. I got nothing to say. I think you flick it as you land on it. Don't! <laughs> Don't you dare! Done. Yeah, that was stupid. I, I didn't think. I put it to the wrong side. Wait a minute. I just saw that a second trampoline drops. Or is that just what happens in the stage and 
the only purpose of the pipe. Okay, hang on. Whoa, wow, what, what, what? Hang on. I've seen this before. Okay, okay, hang on, 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 hang on. What is this? What? Oh, no shit. <laughs> okay, I have a convenience thing. Yes. Okay. Well, that's nice. I, I, I hate this. <laughs> okay, but look, at the very least, that initial part is now, that's, that's it. Oh, it's okay. I don't have to stress out about that part anymore. I might need to refresh my memory as to what I need to do here. Let me go see that. Plus I can save it. the movie room. There's the movie room. Okay. That's chains of atrophy. Okay, this is it. Alright, let's watch. So this is what I'm up to. Coins tell you to L scroll, alright, fine. Ugh. I'm sorry, that is, that is horrible. That's all. Is that all? Okay. What the da? da. <laughs> ah. 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 That's that's all I have to do. That's all I have to do. Ah. <laughs> ah. It's that. Yeah. Ah, 
Yes. Yes. That's it. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Watch the movie. Get it right the first time. It's, it's as simple as that. Yeah, I mean, ugh. these stages honestly just die to get the coin and just move on. That's... Just forget trying to live. So I have to die at least three more times. this. They make it look so easy. Wait, ugh, don't do that. Oh, I've ruined it. This whole thing is just one lengthy, lengthy puzzle. Think about what Christmas movie I'm gonna watch this year as well. As is tradition. My go to is usually Jingle All the Way. <laughs> but I don't know. I might do something different this year. Yeah. I need to stand further back. back here. Ugh. This is so precise. grateful it has a little convenience. I don't know if I'd be able to, <laughs> to hit my head against the brick wall over and over again if it didn't. What amazing level design. Oh, oh no! Oh. Ah! 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 There's, there's some precision involved in it. Ah! It's not just straightforward, it's you gotta make the ball do that, otherwise it doesn't work. this, am I? Even though I watched the movie, it's not gonna happen. 
How do I prevent my- wait, how did- How come I died? Alright, let me watch it again. How do they not do- How did they not die? I imagine they have to be standing closer to the edge. These videos are pretty much the equivalent of, like, draw the rest of the fucking owl. You know, the tutorial, how to draw an owl, step one. And then they just draw the rest of the fucking owl. I mean, at the very least, I got up to it, and it seemed like I lined it up correctly, because I got the first part of it right. It's just... The death part, I need a fix. I don't know, let's just watch. How? How? I think I know what happened. Ah! Ah, of course, yeah, ah. Ah, you have to stand at the edge, ah. I have to watch it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's- it's a pixel-perfect, hey, you're not gonna get hit because you're standing on the edge and Mario's not colliding with the thing. Also, hey, Emma. Long time no see, how goes it? I hate how easy they make this look. Okay, I'm watching carefully. Step back, throw it, jump. Okay. I've seen it, but I'm probably still gonna mess it up, but I, I get how now. Honestly, I wasn't that far off, just... I would have thought that little gap I could have survived under, but no, it's you have to stand at the very edge, because of course. But other than that, I, I think I got it correct. This is the part that I dislike the most, this jump here. Just like the video. You know, I, I might make it a thing of next year just to not Make myself to what? Ha! Huh? Didn't it fall down? Okay. Um, make myself 
not play something that is insanely difficult. Maybe... Maybe try and go, like, the first half of 2023 and just not do anything extremely hard. Because I feel like the last year has been back-to-back -back just, okay, I'm done with this one, let's do the next one. I guess Isaac would be, like, the last thing I would have to complete from a difficulty perspective. What fresh hell is this has been a never-ending slogan. You're not wrong. <laughs> I do say that a lot. I feel accomplished when I do these things. As much as I might hate myself in the moment for trying, there is a sense of uh, satisfaction when you do finish these things. But yeah. I think with this one, there's an extra sense of I want to finish it because the save data corrupted all those years ago and, like, I was sad that that happened. This time around, I've backed up the save data, so... Plus, it's on this thing, so it should be safe. But this is what I'm saying, like, if you've seen the new Mario movie trailer, just consider the things that I'm making Mario do right now, and he's doing it in such a competent way. Like, ignoring the player, right? He's not stumbling over himself. He's just portrayed as a buffoon in the movie. Like, haha, minion humor. So it's- it, if you were to believe that that movie- oh, really? Okay. If you were to believe that that movie is an origin story, it just means that the- Mario grows as a person, and then everyone else kind of gets worse as a person. Peach goes from being strong and independent to just being kidnapped constantly. Luigi never gets over anything, in fact just becomes more scared of shit. Oh, yes! Good job. I, I was holding, I was holding run. That's, um, that's a habit that I do when I play Mario games, is you just permanently hold the, the run button. I forgot to let it go. Everyone else gradually gets worse over the next 30 years. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like... I think that's the- that's the part that's kind of irking me the most, is just... It's formulaic, in the sense that in one of those movies, the hero, of course, has to be incompetent and then grow to be more competent, but it's still incompetent somewhat, you know? 
They're trying to make Mario an underdog, and he, he just never has been in the games. And if it's somewhat connected to the games, then it's either Mario grows as a character and everyone else is just... I don't know. They let themselves go. Like, where's Princess Peach's battle axe, huh, when she gets kidnapped? <laughs> uh, that part, I was just like, oh, okay, she has an axe now. Where was that? Every time she got kidnapped. Dude, I wouldn't fuck with anyone that can wield a battle axe. What do you mean? I think the biggest disappointment for me is just that the Toads didn't all have the same voice. I know that's such an obvious thing and low-hanging fruit from a comedy perspective, but it would have made me laugh. Sometimes simple is better. Oh, you can normally jump. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I mean... Uh... Chris Pratt's voice, I don't know. It's just... I don't think he's doing a voice. He's just being himself, more or less. I think... No matter which actor they got, it would have been an uphill battle. In terms of accepting them as Mario, but... There's better options than Crispy Rat. That's how- that's how we do. Okay, but now what? Okay. That was a good guess on my part. Oh. Oh no. I I think I just I think I messed it up. Wait, study of the behavior of Coopers withdrawn in shell. Green, yellow flees from foes, red blue lunges at foes. I think I messed that up. Yeah, I messed that up. It's- it, it can't be straightforward. <laughs> I think I know what I had to do. Please tell me that at the very- it won't, but just some sort of convenience so I don't have to do this over and over again. Anything. It's not. Yeah, no. Okay, so that part with the star, I'm pretty sure I, what I need to do is run, turn, run, turn, run, turn without dropping the, the shell. So I'm killing stuff, but not losing the shell, so to speak. Which, oh boy.
I really don't want this stream to be the same stage for two hours, but let's face it, <laughs> it probably will be. Okay, that's... Now that I've gotten it once, I guess it's fine. Alright, so this is what I have to do. And I'm almost certain, but let's just... Here we go. <laughs> it has to be annoying. Like I I think if I have it too easy, I've done I've done it wrong, quite clearly. Okay, and then Say what? Okay, think about this for a minute. Why would we want him to go in the shell? Instructions not clear. Not really sure what to do here. I I could have thrown it here, but then Maybe let's just get the dragon coin. I'm just gonna eat a death and get the dragon coin. I'm probably gonna have to do that anyway, let's face it. I don't know, I, d I don't really have... ...an idea of what it wants me to do exactly. step forward um you know what i might look this up i don't feel bad about this because these levels are not something that i genuinely enjoy
And it's it's probably going to be one of these things where it's not intuitive. Okay, I found a walkthrough of this state, so, stage, so let, let's just see. Of course it's someone that's so much better than me. <laughs> it's going to do everything for us try, and I've been here for an hour, and I'm barely halfway through this thing, so. I'm watching it now. The first part of the stage with the tr Wow. Okay. They just did something that... I... I did the more complicated thing. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, my way still worked, it just... There was more effort... more effort than necessary. Ugh. This is the one downside of doing this, is you... You kind of see, oh. 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 Okay, so here's part two. This is the part that I'm up to, so... Maybe I'll skip ahead a little, because I think this part is definitely set in stone. Does the Okay, so here's the shell part, so... Takes it through the pipe. Does the star thing. Let's see if I was on the right track. Okay, so here's the Koopa. Gets it. Gets him to jump in it. Grabs it. Okay. I have my solution. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I would not have thought of that. Try and try and guess what the solution is before I I do it. I was on the right track, I just I guess I didn't consider. And there's still room for error, I'm pretty sure. But at the very least, I know what to do. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Okay. Isn't- isn't that part awesome? <laughs> Just... You have to stand on the edge or die. I think the one thing I wish of this ROM hack is some of the levels have a quick restart, and I think all of them should. I I think there shouldn't be any lives in this, because it's... I mean, they give you a way to get 99 lives in a matter of seconds anyway. It's kind of superfluous.
Just having to go back for the sake of not having a game over and losing progress. Why does it take so long to drop? I can't. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> this is why I skip these kind of stages. take a hit, but you're gonna lose it, and you're gonna have to do this whole section again, yes. Yes, that's all you need to do, yes. Yes. Hmm, yeah. it up. Okay. Right, so... Here's the big solution. Oh no! <laughs> That's not the solution. Fuck! That's the big solution! Uh, uh. Yes. Watch the video. It's so easy. It's three steps, yes. Three steps. Just follow the steps in the video and you'll finish the stage, yes. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm doing this voice. <laughs> just coping mechanism, whatever you call it, it's just... Yes.
too late. So this week I, I went down a rabbit hole of, um, food. But specifically a very weird rabbit hole, which is just... American frozen food. And I say this because there's a dude that I saw that, uh... I guess just makes a bunch of disaster food is the best way to, to say it. But, um, man, it's just a whole different planet, the kind of food that's on offer over there. The guy made, uh, this sandwich made out of a Twinkie from a Weird Al Yankovic movie. And I don't know how anyone can possibly eat that and whether or not it's a real thing. But it's... So you use a Twinkie like a hot dog bun, you get a hot dog, you put it between the Twinkie, and then you squirt that fake cheese on top, like you would with the- like you would with ketchup or tomato sauce, whatever you want to call it. And then the coup de gras is like, you dip it in milk and take a bite. And that's what Weird Al does. Oh no, ramen was part of that rabbit hole. Like, that video I shared on Discord kind of came from that. It's... There was a ramen cookbook just making a bunch of dishes out of ramen. And I swear, it's one of these things where... In this day and age, someone could make that video and totally fake that 90s vibe. And it's... It's one of those things where I question if it ever existed. For real. It would be an insanely clever troll. But it, it, it has existed. Because there are cookbooks you can find that um, are that very cookbook. But a lot of it is just... You ask the question, why? The guy makes one of the recipes from it, which is... Um, s'mores, right? So, I mean, typically you use, like, a graham cracker, right? But in this recipe, uh, they get the cake, the noodle cake, right? I believe that's the term. So he just breaks it in half, then gets some pieces of chocolate, puts it on top, and then the instructions say, put it in the microwave, and keep opening the door every 10 seconds just to check <laughs> that the chocolate is melted. And you know, that instruction to me, it, it's just reminiscent of, listen, you want the chocolate to melt, but you don't want to leave the noodles in there too long because they will probably catch on fire or, or something, you know? It's, hey, listen, ch check it every 10 seconds. You don't want to leave it in too long. So yeah, um, melts the chocolate and then puts marshmallow on top. and. It's just crunchy noodles with semi-melted chocolate and marshmallows, and it's the whole thing where it's like, you're not really adding any convenience there at all. It's not like the crackers are super expensive, right? You're not saving money, it's not saving you time. You're just choosing to do a worse option because noodles, like, why? It's so bizarre, and a lot of those recipes are just like that, where it's... Why would you use instant noodles? Like, surely you have what the re original recipe intends on hand, and it's not like you're saving money. And this is coming from someone that grew up, right? <laughs> immigrant family didn't have much money. Do you know some of the meals I used to have as a kid was like a, p a tortilla and a slice of cheese. That was some of the meals that I had as a child. 
so believe me, I, I can understand what you have to do to, to save money, right? But... I don't think my parents would have ever gone to the extent of taking instant noodles and trying to make dishes out of them, like an... Okay, so I've, I've fucked this up. Cheese is a luxury, to be honest. It wasn't too bad, because, um... Haha. Growing up, we used to le live near a factory that made feta cheese. So the housing in that area was really cheap because it stunk of cheese. So they'd go to the factory and buy it in a tub in bulk and split it amongst the family, right? That's how it used to go. Honestly, the cheeses I, I had as a kid, Feta is a very nice cheese. It's it's not like I had craft singles, which is basically plastic. Guys, it's just cheese. Um, so you know that that was fine, but I mean bean soups, tortilla with just cheese. Um. A lot of vegetable dishes. Anyway, this noodle cookbook thing was just fascinating. And then the rabbit hole continued where this guy just got these uh, meals from Costco and all these frozen foods and just went through them. And just the amount of sodium and sugars these things have, it's just kind of nuts. Your mom always got those frozen veggie mixes. Hate them to this day, but hey, cheap. Yeah, I mean... I don't think there's anything wrong with the frozen veggie mixes. You can do things with them and they can come out fine. But I, I, I just... I can't see how that ramen cookbook would help financially, you know? Maybe, maybe it's just different over there. I don't know. But that's a rabbit hole if you want to go down it. Um, the channel's name is uh, Brutal Moose, and the segment is called Brutal Foods. So, it's got very good production value, his channel. It's one of these things that, um... <sighs> this is why I thought it was a troll initially, because it's such streamer bait, because some of those recipes are something that you can make very easily and try on stream, and just be like, alright, today I'm gonna try the ramen s'mores, you know, as an example, because very easy to acquire the, those ingredients. It's three things. And it's not going to be very good. It's not going to be- it's not going to be good at all. Just use the fucking graham crackers. <laughs> Maybe the idea is because you can buy the noodles in bulk. And that's why if you buy them in bulk, sure, they're cheap.
Ah, that's what I did wrong. Ah, oh, did you see that? Yes! <laughs> Got it. Ah! <laughs> All right. Checkpoint. <sighs> what fresh hell is this? What is this? I already hate this. I'm. T I should go save. Oh, so, okay, that starts the whole mechanic, I guess. This just reminds me of a Mega Man stage. Okay, the, the point is Dragon Coin is acquired. We're pretty much at the tail end of the stage. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just fascinated with, um... 90s stuff. Wait, what? Okay. It's stuff that... I might not remember and then get reminded of its existence. I think an interesting exercise to do, and I'm not sure if I'd still be able to do it, would be to get a VHS player and go and... The tapes that I would look at would be when me and my brother used to record Dragon Ball in the morning. Because we would set a timer. Uh, leave for school and then record it. And the reason would be because they would have the commercials, and I think seeing commercials, particularly in Australia from the 1990s, would be a gold mine for content. But I'm not sure my parents still have those tapes. I'm not sure. It could very well be gone already, but, um... Eh, we'll see. Maybe I, oh, during Christmas I might look into it. I called it a VC, VHS player, but it's like, it's a VCR. But that's good. Honestly, that I made that mistake, that's good. Just means I'm not old, right? <laughs> it's a VCR. It's been that long that I, I forgot the name of the thing that plays it. Because, I mean, everything else that came after it, it was like, it didn't have a different name. You have DVD, DVD player, Blu-ray, Blu-ray player. So my brain went to VHS player. Even the recorders that were called DVD recorders or DVD burners. Is this? This monument is dedicated to those who lost their lives in the Toadstool County arson of 1657. What? Okay, this is going to be another section where it's gonna be something highly specific. I'm watching. I'm watching what to do. Um, no shame, because for the other sections, I've done the same thing, effectively. But this, this is going to be something that I can either spend another hour and a half figuring out, or I can see what I need to do up front, 
and then try it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just look at this and I'm like, this is going to be a fucking pain in the ass. I'm looking. I would have a way to hook up the the VCR to the capture card because I have this device where you can hook up analog stuff to a capture card, so. It would be interesting. Oh boy, am I glad that I did this. Yeah, dude, this this fucking stage. <laughs> oh my god. I wish you could see what I was seeing right now. There might also be some Australian TV shows that I like. There's no chance you will know of their existence because they won't be documented anywhere. And a lot of Australian TV was very short running. It did not run for much time. With the exception of um, the stuff that became big in the UK, like Neighbours and um, Home and Away, which apparently made it Scandinavia as well, so... But other than that, most Australian TV shows were a flop. Okay. So, this next gimmick is I have to... It's quite popular, it still runs there. Yeah, that's... That blows my mind. Okay, hang on. There's, there's a few parts that I need to rewatch, but the whole idea is... You need to... Let a baby Yoshi... Not grow up too early. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, this next part is bullshit. Okay, yep. Sure, I'm glad I watched this. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Alright, so... I hope there's a checkpoint for this, honestly. Alright, anyway. This is what I was watching. watching closely enough, apparently. I have to go through that gauntlet to get- to get a Yoshi, and then it's just this massive puzzle. Dude, really? I have to go through this whole thing again. I never got into the Australian drama stuff, like Neighbours and Home and Away, but it's basically a cult here. It's people that watch it are just insane in terms of fandom. Same with neighbors, it's just the same thing. To me it was just, oh no, here's that show that's interrupting The Simpsons and all the other comedy shows that aired at the time. It's okay, let's go do something for half an hour while this stuff plays out.
I guess if you're looking at it from another country, I, it might seem exotic because it's like... Is it still presented as they're in Australia? Or do they um, localize it and try to change the story a little? They run one after another. Okay, so here, they were rivals here. Um, one was on one TV station, and the other was on another. So they ran at the same time, and they were competing against one another. And the American soaps would air during the day. So that was daytime TV. Like, Days of Our Lives, Young and the Restless, that stuff was on during the day. And then evening prime time, it would, it would start off with the news, and then it would be The Simpsons, and then Neighbors slash Home and Away, depending on which channel you were watching. And the other channels were game shows. So our version of The Price is Right, and then this very boring show, which... I don't know why they didn't just take Jeopardy and, um, localize it. It was like a more boring version of Jeopardy. It was called Sale of the Century and it just, it wasn't good. <laughs> here's, here's how bad that show was. And no, uh, if you, if you watched it, that's fine. I'm, I'm not making fun of people that watch that show. However, in terms of, uh, studio audience... They used to get... Elementary schools, primary schools, right? Um, they would offer to do tours of the TV station it was filmed in. And then... The schools would be... The TV audience of this show. Because... <laughs> they just didn't really fill it up. It was just... Not many people had an interest in going to see it... Being filmed, so... They use school kids, um, in the audience quite a bit. So there's a little fun fact. Which, uh, I mean, at that point, just don't have a live TV audience. Just get a few clap tracks recorded and then you're good. I don't know, man. How do we... I think I need to stay. Nope, how do we stay in the background? I might need to watch this part again. Oh, no, no, I see, I see. I think. Like, let's say I jump here. Nah, it... I think I got it. I think you need to do this. Shit. I'm gonna see if I can work it out myself, but I think it's... Jump here, throw it, and then... Hopefully try and catch it again. Oh, yeah, 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 no checkpoint, yeah, do, the, do this, I've, if I die, I have to do all of this, again. no, not just if I die, if I fuck this up. <laughs> Alright, I have to watch this again. Yo, she's just dead. Do I, does he at least respawn? Please, t please tell me he respawns. I'm watching it again. I just want this level to be done, that's all. Okay, so kick, throw, and then jump. Oh no, you don't throw at all, you just... 
go through it, I guess. And then everything is a background thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well. Honestly, it'll be good because then I get to see a stage that I've never seen before. Okay, that part's not that bad, actually. But yeah, the, the game show that everyone wanted to be on was The Price is Right. Sale of the Century was just this... <laughs> I don't know, they try to be intellectual and it's just... Intellect doesn't sell. Who wants to be a millionaire had a, be a better format? Good. Didn't do that right. Yeah, it would be interesting to go back through some of the stuff. Unfortunately, it's not as far back as I would like. If I was able to access any media from Australian TV, I would love to have done it during the early 1990s, but, you know, I was a small child, so not possible, right? But some of that stuff, culture shock definitely would, would be a, a thing, because... The mullet was, like, a massive thing in Australia. And, uh... I guess just Australian culture in general was more... More, uh, what do you call it? It was cl more closely aligned to the whole Paul Hogan thing. Would you believe it? Whereas in... I mean, in the late 90s and early 2000s, I think the TV I recorded would have definitely been in the early 2000s. So, it, the culture shock isn't as big. But there's definitely some golden moments in there. Also, toy commercials, like... <laughs> it just... It's fun to look at some of that stuff because you might remember them and then be like, oh, I wanted one of those. Why did I want one of those? Baby me with cute cheeks. What? <laughs> I mean, not quite a baby, like... Toddler? How would a four-year-old be classified as... Toddler? I don't know. Child. Nuisance. Well, I wasn't chubby, that's one thing. Okay. A run? Eh, I don't know. I was told I was just a bit of a... a cheeky lad. I 
getting into trouble. Laughing at stuff, you know. Oh, you dick. Um, I think I've messed this up because I have to stay in the background, right? Let me just watch this again. I'm dead anyway, but I'm 90% sure I have to stay in the background layer. Which, ugh. yeah, that, la that last jump, jeez, dude. I think the worst part about this is just the fact that there's no checkpoint. It's just this very annoying segment, and then to even to get to it, I have to go through this again. I don't know, man. I can do it. I'm capable of doing it, but I just find it annoying. I think if you want to make these kind of stages, my taste would be, yeah, they can be this hard, and they can be this tricky, but please off of just progression. You know, once you get through a hard part, just, that's fine. I've, I've proved my worth. Don't make it something that's just, that just drags on because I have to do multiple tedious things back to back. Those people that want to prove, them, prove themselves and do it in one try, they will go out of their way to do that regardless of checkpoints. But to make it more accessible and enjoyable to everyone, you can keep the difficulty just off of the checkpoint. It's almost, it's, it's been an hour and, and a half. I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to get a little old. And I know that I'm at the end of it, that's the worst part, is... When you play the video, right? From this point, there's only two minutes of the stage left if I do it. I think this, from this point, this is where it should save. Like when you arrive in the, at that previous screen, and then let me continue from here because it's just this is where the challenge is. Oh, come on. It's a wall. Okay, fine. I, I flew into the wall. Fine. I'll accept that. I don't know why I jumped again. I'm trying to think if there's any strange Australian type recipes. Or, I guess, something that's on par with the ramen cookbook. There is one that's cooking with Vegemite, which I, I think would be the most off-putting one, but to be honest... To be honest, if you do it correctly... The thing is, people's experience with Vegemite is generally they use it like peanut butter. And that's why it's bad and under understandably... It's one of those things where... Listen, if... Take salt, for instance. If you have a little bit of it and put a little bit of it on a dish, it can enhance flavor. 
But of course, if you dump a whole fucking ton of salt on a dish, it's gonna taste bad. And it's the same thing with Vegemite, it's just... Very fine amounts, and it could probably enhance flavor. And that's all a Vegemite cookbook would be, is like... Once you get over that initial shock that you're using Vegemite, really, you're just adding something with salt and just this... This flavor profile. So it's, I think it, it's jarring at first, but then once you know, it's not really jarring at all. Kangaroo, it's only jarring in the sense of people that think of cute animals and they're like, wow, you eat, because kangaroos are just such an iconic thing. It's amazing how many people are just, they're shocked when they learn that we eat them. Ah! ah. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yep. Yeah. I missed. You tried it once, it was not nice. Nobody told you how much to put. Okay. It's not that, it's, it's just because I think the kangaroos are just exotic and you can't find them in any other country unless you go to a zoo, right? So because they're so exotic and I guess they have that cute factor as well, that's why there's a bit of an uproar about it. Is it weird that we eat elk? Uh, not really, because they, I guess I, it's normalized in movies and stuff, you know, they, they kill moose and elk and they eat it. Whereas in hunting a kangaroo and eating it isn't really portrayed in the me media, like, the media portrayal of kangaroos is, let's see, there's Kangaroo Jack, which is, you know, a rambunctious kangaroo getting into trouble. The Skippy the Bush Kangaroo, which uh, it's just a cute lassie type, Australian lassie, basically. So there isn't really much of that portrayed. Even in Australian movies and TV shows, they don't really sit down to a dinner that consists of kangaroo. It's not like on Home and Away and um, Neighbours, you know, they go sit down, dinner, kangaroo. No, it doesn't happen. So that's why it's jarring. I'm not even up to I'm not even up to this part. This part here Unbelievably annoying. And I'm not even up to it yet. Here's how I know that this is a bad level. It relies on the block, the blocks being done. Imagine I didn't have the blue palace block here. How would you do this? Of 
cool, I'm in the foreground now, so the yep, it wasn't pixel perfect, so. I wouldn't be so frustrated if it would just let me try again, but no. Do another suction, thus. Might kill her again, yes. This is why I'm going to play Diablo afterwards, because it's just, that's my reward. Just get the kick back, kick, kill a bunch of... ...demons, undead, whatever. I almost died last time, that was kind of funny, but now I'm at a point where I'm... I, yeah, I mean, my character still has room for growth, but it's at a point where... It can go pretty much anywhere. I could probably start progressing to level 99 and finish the ladder, but I don't know. We'll see. It's definitely stronger than my softcore character now, which I guess was a goal. cannot describe how much I dislike this. Oh. Thank you, Glitch Passive. That actually... Wow, that afforded me quite... Quite a bit of leeway. The sword blade disappeared. It despawned. Ooh, no. I'm watch I'm watching this next part. Hold on. Okay. That is uh yep, yeah, that is a jump. Oh, ah. oh, come on, dude. Like, really? Did I... Was I just, like, that off? There's no fixing it. I, 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 if I fuck it, that's it. It's done. There's no fixing it, I don't think. Because I can take Yoshi back. It's just, at this point, this is where... Oh no, okay, okay. Oh, ah! oh he respawns! Fuck, he respawns. Okay. Now I know he respawns, he respawns. Okay, so just kick him. Kick him into the void and then you can try again. Okay, that's good to know. I almost had the jump, I was just off by a little bit. I don't think I've saved. Um, I should probably save on the next step.
I guess that's nice if I don't have to worry about him. Wait a minute, that's in the wrong layer. This is the one I have to worry about. Unfortunately, I don't have the nice little bit of leeway this time. Alright, that's where I need to get my mindset here, is I'm not in any danger at this one. But noted. That's where I messed up. I thought I was in danger, I'm not. Damn it. I pressed down. I'm gonna go save real quick. I'll just be happy if I can get this done today. <laughs> this level. I just want to make sure that it's all it's all good. It's recorded. I'm kind of worried about what's next. That uh, speech box, it tells you something very specific. And it even admits, oh, yeah, you kind of have to be good at it. Which, ugh. When the level designer admits, yes. This is kind of annoying to do. But I'm gonna put it in the level anyway, because the player needs a challenge. I'll acknowledge how annoying it is, but I'm still gonna put it in the level. a glitch passive. Oh, I almost messed it up. Okay. I'm on the wrong layer. I messed it up already. Okay, go back. Does it, wait, does he vanish or does he stay there? He would have to vanish. If he stayed there, then all I have to do is just come back.
It's just that last jump that's... Ugh. Uh, oh. Oh, what is this? Did I just find the cheese? Hang on. So what, I just take Yoshi to the to the end and that's it? And it, admittedly, I messed that up, but if that's the case, that's... I don't have to stress that much. I can more or less go try and get through it, and if I can't, just just drop him off at the end. Or do that to begin with, but I don't know. I'm gonna try and do this as originally intended, but... If there's an out, there's an out. Oh, I just realized something. Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay. I've got it this time. I didn't recognize something very important. Not that! I didn't recognize something very important. I just realized I'm not in any danger. I'm only in danger if I... S on that layer, but on this layer I'm fine. This is the crucial thing that I didn't look at. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Do you want to talk about annoying?
Okay, now let me... How's this part done again? I'm gonna be stopping for directions here. Okay, so you hit him. Okay, you hit him. I may have fucked this up already. Or have I? Hang on. Hold on. Have I messed this up? I may have messed this up. I just want to see if the shell is crucial. I don't think it is. Just watching. Okay, it doesn't appear to be crucial. Wait, what? Okay, eh? Hang on. I think I may have messed it up. We'll see. I've messed it up. Yep, I've messed it up. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It's just... I'm watching it again. So that box, I have to throw Yoshi into it, and then... The shell has to be on the right. Okay. There's no safe states either, I just have to do it again! It's alright, at least this next part, I don't think it's, it's too bad for me anymore. I've got the hang of it. But, yeah, I mean, oh. Oh, 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 okay. Alright, I'm happy about that, cool. Okay, fine. This is fine. Good. Then I'm okay with this. Gotta start again. So what's supposed to happen there is that... Um... I don't even know what they're called. Galoombas? I think they're called Galoombas. I used to call them tomatoes as a little kid. They were like tomato enemies. <laughs> but... I think they're called Galoombas. That was supposed to kill the turtle shell. Because that's, that's what they look like. They look like walking little cherry tomatoes. It made sense in my mind because I associated the Goombas with um, t mushrooms. So those things to me were like cherry tomatoes. This is... Wow. What a... I'm sorry, but I... That, that is such bad design. I hate it. 
I'm watching what I need to do exactly, so... I, I don't see any difference into what I did. Magic Hat always turns to food, gonna make lunch. I'm sorry, it's just... That's... I can't help what I called it. I mean, I can't be the only one that thought that Goombas were mushrooms and those things were tomatoes, I don't know. I also thought that the bullet bills... Um... That the white part of their body was a smile, but it's actually their hands. But I thought it was a grin. And that they were happy. But enjoy lunch. Maybe I'll be done by then. I doubt it. We'll see. There we go. Ah, I had to put it down. That's what's supposed to happen. Ugh, nearly there. There's just one more bullshit thing I need to do and then the stage is done. Well, I think two, but I think one one of them is definitely more egregious than the other. I'm so happy about this. I don't know how exactly this is done, but... It's one of these frame-perfect things. Just, yeah. Okay, and then... Okay. Now this is the part. To the one who rushes for naught, thou art foolish, thou art foolish, oh, and kick it as it wakes. For luck. Wait, that's completely different to what this video does. I think they've changed the dialogue box in this. Okay, so... Yeah, that's that's uh that's quite the mechanic. Love it. I'm watching it again. He jumps on it and grabs it. So it's a jump grab. Another frame perfect thing, not to worry. Nothing tedious.
Okay. I just realized if I mess this up, I can reset at any given point. As long as I can ex ac um, access the left-hand side. So reset. that hesitation. Quite the thing to do. Yes, just do it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ah, <sighs> right. Do I, do I just, I need to let it jump up and then I jump on it? Or is it, I have to predict the frame, I'm not sure. I think I have to let it jump up. Why, why did you skip my level 4? Why did you not do this one thing that is extremely specific and tedious that I'm going to call tech? When technology is supposed to improve our lives, you know? It's kind of anti-tech if you think about it. Although I guess tech could also mean technique, but still. Technique usually moves towards doing something efficiently and improving the process not making it more tedious. It would be like, hey, watch my technique for washing the dishes. 
and then you gotta get a step ladder, and you get two gigantic extendable claws and wash the dishes with the extendable claws. It's tech. Sure, you could wash the dishes the normal way, but then you wouldn't be able to claim that you're using tech to wash the dishes. this. Okay. I think I'm better off watching this a couple times. <laughs> yeah, such a, such a great little thing to do. I'm sure the number one question is, why are you playing this then, if you're not having a good time? I'm definitely enjoying the thing as a whole, and at this point, when you put as much time into this ROM hack and have done pretty much every other level, this is just, it's a minor nuisance in something that has otherwise been fun. Besides, it's not the first time I've done something that. I, I can complain all I want. <laughs> It, I still finish it in the end. How else am I going to prove that I know how to use tech? These little acknowledgements of just, hey, take this. <laughs> it just. Uh, this would be unbearable otherwise. Yeah, that was my own fault. I probably should have waited. I was trying to do that in one go.
I don't think waiting is the problem. I think it's just... Stars have to align. Fine. It's okay, I can just re-try it anyway. It's not a massive effort. I'm kind of torn. Like, on the one hand, this is asking to do some very annoying stuff, but on the other hand, it's the most convenient segment, for sure. Yeah, uh, this shit right here is the part where I'm like... <sighs> There's no rewind feature. <laughs> I can't just keep rewinding and trying. This is on a real hardware, so uh, I'm just gonna have to get it eventually. I think I need to watch it a couple times, because by the time I get there, I've probably already lost the muscle memory of its animation. I think that's the ticket, and just try and time it. I definitely have a different version of this ROM hack, because what I'm looking at, um, the video that shows how to do this, the text was different, so... I don't know if I'm on an earlier version or a later version, but it's different. Probably an earlier version if the text is rather... it doesn't really... It doesn't help. <laughs> Whereas in... The text in the video that I'm seeing, it's pretty descriptive of what you need to do. And it starts shaking. I'm just, the stuff like this is where it falls apart for me because I'm just not very patient. I just, it's why I'm not good at sniping in shooters either. I just, I don't have that level of patience. It's just waiting for the exact moment to pull the trigger. It's just, eh. It's not my thing, never has been. I'm just glad that it's just this one thing I have to do and then the stage is pretty much done. But if if this was a whole stage of this, I'd, I straight up would be like, nah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I would be like, listen, the rest of this ROM hack I'll finish, but this one stage, no thank you. It's just... It's gonna be notable that I'm not enjoying it. And it just wouldn't make a good viewing experience. Whereas in, I guess this is fine. Some of the other parts, yeah, tricky, but they got through them. If this stage was nothing but that sort of stuff, I, I would make no progress, and it just wouldn't be enjoyable. Okay. 
I mean, I grabbed it. Okay. Reset up. Try not to overthink that part and just go for it. As it's not the end of the world if I do miss. I thought I had it that time. How do they do it? I, I don't understand. Do they not grab? So when it jumps, just... I think you just... You need to jump on it. And maybe not grab. Maybe that's my problem, is that I'm grabbing. I'm holding grab, and I shouldn't hold grab. And only hold grab when I jump off it the second time. That was probably the closest in terms of getting it done, I don't know. I think I just need to make sure that it's positioned in that particular spot and then it might be easier to grab it that way. I'm just glad that these are very quick attempts. It doesn't overstay its welcome. <laughs> it's just this last button. Ugh, it's such a drag. That was the key. Yeah, not not fun. Not quite right. There we go, got it. Mm. 
Okay. Ah. Stupid stage. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, you know, that was, that was two and a half hours, yeah, for one stage. <laughs> two and a half hours for one stage, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go into the next stage just to see what it is, but... Rest assured, I probably will not attempt it. It's just... If that- if I had to go through that... What is this stage called? It's called... The Depraved Stronghold. What is this? What do you mean? Am I just doomed to take a hit here? Yeah, cool. So, you know, this is this is the stage that I have to do now. Okay, no, it's that. It's just a bunch of frame-perfect stuff. Well, not really. Alright, well, I'm gonna try, but, like, I'm convinced that I'm not doing this today. It's a bunch of jumping challenges by the looks of it, which... I'm more okay with. It's not... It's not like the previous stage where it was a bunch of tedious things that involve very specific mechanics. This is just basic jumping. And it's just, there's obstacles in, in your way, which... I... I can... definitely get more on board with it. Especially if I can iframe my way out of most stuff. Yeah, I tried to swim in lava. That's that's my first problem. Ah, oh, shit. Ugh, damn it. <laughs> I think that last stage has just thrown me off. Just a little bit. Just in terms of making me tired. Oh my god, that last- that last section. Brutal. Okay. I know what needs to be done there, you need to just wait for the skeleton to be positioned correctly. At the very least this stage, I'm, I don't think I'm going to get that frustrated at. Looking at it already, this is within my wheelhouse of being able to complete the stage with not too many problems. It's just platforming challenges and I'm sure I can, I can do it. I'm okay with this stage so far. Whereas in this one, I mean, look. You enter the stage. And the very first thing is this. I mean, now there's that convenience, but... Remember how it took me like five minutes to try and get up on this platform? 
This stage makes you feel like an idiot within the first 30 seconds. This other stage is just, hey, if you can jump, you can get through it. And I just enjoy that more. Anyway. I'm gonna go save it again, just for good measure. Because I'm of the paranoid type that, for some reason, despite me saving, it'll be like, no, you didn't finish that stage, what do you mean? You have to do it again. Okay, that's done. That will wrap up Janked Up Mario Party for tonight. I'm gonna definitely put an effort into playing this again tomorrow, as I do need to try and finish this. We're gonna hit December, and I want to move on to, I guess, more chill stuff, so... Despite tomorrow being December, <laughs> I'll still play this. Some stages are ego-crushing. I just think that stage is- its intent is just to make the player suffer. There's no other intent. It's just... The level designer sits there, and they come up with a platforming challenge, and then... Bit by bit, they just keep adding layers of tediousness to it. Until it's to the point where you have to do something very specific to get through it. And unless you know up front, you're gonna- you're gonna fail a lot of the time. So, anyway, <laughs> I'll stop complaining. Thanks for watching uh, this. I'm going to chill with some Diablo now. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but after today being long with work and doing a bit of this, I want to kick back with it. So I'm going to play it, put music in Discord and just you know do the thing, talk and play for a while. But first, I'm going to stretch my legs for like five, ten minutes. Five minutes, myself.